It was here where Abdullah Ibrahim first professionally performed at the age of 16. He is now almost 90 years old. The event to honor Ibrahim coincides with a series of performances planned for Cape Town, Gauteng, and New York during this month. Born in Cape Town in 1934, formerly known as Dollar Brand, he has not lost any of his zeal, zest, and verve at the piano stakes. The South African pianist and composer spent most of his adult life in exile, owning his trade. But his music career spanning about 70 years reflects many of the musical influences of his childhood. I think it's marvelous to see someone like Abdullah, who's one of my, uh, one of my heroes, you know. Um, he put Cape Jazz on the, uh, the Cape Sound on the international market. And to see him honored at this age, I think it's fantastic. Uh, you know, because we have to, I mean, I wish, I wish I could get to 90 and do a world tour. I mean, that is amazing. It has often been said South African artists are being neglected and are only remembered after they have passed on, often as paupers. The Fantuga of Initiative is to recognize legends such as Dr. Abdullah Ibrahim. These legends have made an immense contribution through their musical journey, through arts, through culture. In the past, they were not recognized. And it's good that they, were not, they are celebrated sometimes across the Atlantic, not back home. Among the previous recipients present was legendary poet and sculptor, Professor Piti Kanduli. The Fantuka, you know, thing goes far much more deeper, you know, in our hearts. When we watch some of the great people that lived and contributed even far much more than us who have died without actually being acknowledged or being awarded, you know, anything. So this is uh, the process that uh, uh, the former minister, uh, uh, Nati Intetwa, uh, uh, you know, started, uh, which uh, the current minister, uh, Azizi, is pushing it actually up, uh, even with the issues of uh, the creative uh, uh, you know, industries awards. This really means a lot to the artists. The crowds here waited with bated breath for his anthem song, Manenberg. I grew up with Manenberg in my ears. So tonight, to honor and be part of the celebration of a life that came full circle at 90 years old, I want to say, wow, this is what 30 years of democracy means to me, that we can achieve amidst when everything was dark, the light can shine. The initiative which recognizes and acclaims South Africa's living legends in the creative and cultural sectors will honor more Cape Town musos in the coming months. Mlamli Maneli for SABC News in Cape Town.